morning, chatty chatters. Good morning, good morning. Good to see you all here. Happy Sunday and welcome to a little bit more of Forever Skies. So this game's been a demo and we showed a little bit of an early first look to this one, but now we have access to the full version. Well, the early access version, I should say, but not the demo anymore. Uh, a little ahead of its release. So thanks to the devs for sending over a key. You could check out a little more detailed video on this one earlier if you'd like to check it out. There's a video on it. But I wanted to play it some more because it's a damn fine game and it looks like a eh, basically Subnautica but with an airship. So good to see you all here. Welcome back. Let's get started. Let's go. Just need to, uh, let's see here, check if there's a update. Okay, cool. We're good. Well, good morning. Welcome. Thank you, everybody, for all your memberships. Thanks for smacking that join button, becoming members, and upgrading. Thank you very much for all your um, your super chats and for subscribing and hanging out and all your comments and just being awesome. And I hope you're having an awesome weekend, too. It's so good to see you all back. All right, we're going to start uh, fresh in this game, but eventually this game will have multiplayer. This game eventually will get more stuff added to it. Uh, I think more points of interest and more things to build with. There's going to be more of everything, basically. So this will eventually be a co-op, I think up to four-player game, and it will have uh, quite a bit more to do, build, and places to go. And it uh, seems pretty neat. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Ooh, cool. All right, let's go ahead and delete all these... Are these from the demo? Those must be from the demo. Because I don't think you can choose the difficulty. Alright, um... Oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's see. No loss of resources after death. Food and... Oh, oh it seems... There's a permadeath mode... Food and drink drops faster. Um, oh wow, there's like a skeleton in there. That's cute. Hmm. Please no permadeath. Yeah, that wouldn't be good for the streams. I'm tempted to play it, but having to start over would kind of just bum everybody out, I think. We'll just do normal. Plus, the game's early access, so the Difficulty's not yet set in stone. They can continuously, you know, add features to it, make it easier or harder. So maybe maybe the permadeath is too easy. There will be no other end of the world. I wonder if they'll add more story to this game, but I, eventually we're basically, um, I think we were like up in an orbital station. The story will explain it a bit more, but... Emergency landing procedure completed. Boy, that sounds like Subnautica. But anyway, I think the uh, whole ordeal is that we're here to... We're from like a space station <clears throat> of people who evacuated Earth and are now back on Earth. I'll read everything. Oh, wow, there's even details on, like, a first aid kit. Cool. <clears throat> Broken signal. Lost expedition. Uh, Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal, and then silent again. None of us know what awaits you there, but uh, there is a chance that uh, they have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus, sample at all costs. The fate of all of us depends on you, the Ark. A virus? We'll have to find out what that means. Wow, nice. I guess technically you could die right here just by walking over the edge. <laughs> Earth's not looking too hot, is it? We got machine parts, cool. Yeah, that'd be the shortest speed run ever, true.
Satisfy your hunger and power the computer. It's all gone to hell. Lost expedition. Everything's been screwed up since we found out that... I found the damn virus. We're all getting sick, equipment is breaking down, and then there's this Noah situation. Uh, the power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. Bacon? Bacon tower? There's water? We got canned water. Can do. Sun melons. Solid state battery. All right, we're taking that. Now, this game also has a playable demo, so a lot of what you're about to see is from the demo. Uh, but after you get to your airship, I think the demo just cuts you off at like 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay. But since this is not the demo, we'll be able to go well beyond that and keep ex exploring. New radio message received. On delivered message. Uh, we're down here in, under the dust. We found the lab where they first analyzed the virus 400 years ago. That's where it all started to go to hell. No one crazy. That guy stole the sample and our airship and broke the uh, radio leaving us here to die. He's dangerous as hell. The location of the sample is at the overgrown glass house. A, sa a scientist lived there who studied the flora under the dust. That must be like the atmosphere we see below us. If you want to get there, try visiting the radio towers, wind farms to get necessary devices. Be careful. Uh, the world is no the world no longer wants us, nor it's not a uh, it's not a place for humans anymore. Expedition Sagittarius 2. Immunity circle. Oh. Uh determines how hard you suffer from viruses. Value depends on other health parameters. Oh. So we want to keep all of our stats relatively high to give us more immunity to viruses? Health bar, hunger, thirst, that's all kind of self-explanatory. Sun melon. If we eat that, there's a chance we could get photophobia. Maybe we'll hold off on eating that then if we're going to get a virus from it. I guess that'll just be like our emergency rations. Also, I think food in this game has like a shelf life, so if we gather those melons and don't eat them for a while, they could go bad. So there's that. Hmm. Oh. Hi there. Tree, rocket ships, palace thingy. Yeah, I went crazy. Is he counting the number of likes on this stream or what? That's a lot of them. Wow. Oh, we grabbed some canned food too. Noah's madness. It's all because. It's all because of the damn dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about uh, nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do uh, so we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him follow the voices in the head. Lunatic. <clears throat> we locked him in his cell for his own good, but he hit the extractor and ran off while everyone was asleep. Hmm. Let's have some food and water. Hey, there's our airship. Cool. Let's look around for more loot and booty. Photophobia research. My research on photophobia virus has shown that it can be cured with... Uh, lectin? Lectin. That's a great source... Wait. It's a gr It's great source are... It's great source are... Dust moss and other um, 
living things under the dust later. I prepared a lure to attract these objects. Use it with the insect catcher or the airship. I lower it into the dust and wait to catch. Food from the world may be eaten raw with harm. Uh, may be harmful. I'll leave a membrane for the water condenser just in some uh, case some water is needed to cook the food. Okay. So we gotta make um, there's our insect lure and there's our membrane. So we gotta make those two together. Food and water. Gotta, gotta make food. In other words, we're gonna boil food in fresh water. Otherwise we could have some bad times. So if we want to make food, we got to have water, too. Is it possible to get under the dust? Maybe. There's some dirty water. Okay. picked up a transformer airship to-do list I've been building a new airship for two months since uh, Noah got away with our equipment if only my workshop hadn't collapsed might more uh, I would have already had the airship engine research completed place the rudder fabricator deck extractor extract the wall blocking the workship get the research station expand the airship not yet needs resources from further locations okay Grab some more stuff. Oh, there's a fabricator. Place on your airship. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we got a lot of new blueprints. Craft the deck extractor. This thing's like a harpoon that gathers resources around us. Printing completed. So we can use that here. And as he mentioned, we need to clear the blockage of the workshop. But I guess we'll gather everything up. Huh? Kind of like in raft when you use the, uh, you know, the rope and the the hook, basically. Man, there's a ton of stuff to gather. I think that's most of what's here. Alright, pick up the research station in the workshop. Uh, blueprint research. I managed to repair the research station. There are a few old blueprints preserved in the memory card, but the most important one is the scanner. It's necessary to complete its research and craft it. After that, it should scan certain objects in the world so we can acquire more data for blueprints research. Need a battery to run the device. Dug out this old power box from the ruins. The supply should be inside. Cool. Okay, so I'm guessing batteries are going to be kind of hard to come by. Everything else has been pretty plentiful, but it seems like batteries are a little more special. 
So there's our research station. Put that on the ship. Running out of room. Okay. Research the scanner. Hydration level is decreasing. Research finalized. Yeah, that looks like most everything. Craft the scanner, all right. Printing completed. Oh, there's that lure they were talking about. All right, that'll get us some food. And that'll get us some water. Okay, uh, craft the scanner, done. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. She's quiet. Let's make you a little louder, can we, ma'am? Oh, she's at 100%. Alright, let's make the environment a little louder. That's awfully loud. Little bit more. All right, check the studies menu. Hey, we got one. Our fishing was successful. What is that? Dust lettuce. All right, scanners and research station. Scan the synthetic clusters floating in the air. metal. Okay, oh, okay, so we gotta scan everything, basically. Such as that. We could probably disassemble that with the deck gun. Hey, there we go, a little dust moth. How oh, lovely. Research engine and fuel. Oh hell yeah, we're about ready to go, go trucking. Now I think we can add onto the ship, but I don't think we can do it here. Like he said in his note, that guy said like he wa finalized. he wanted to expand the ship, but couldn't until he went other places. So we will have to wait a little bit on that. Yeah, dirty water. Craft the engine. Ooh, storage box. See if there's anything to scan. Hell yeah, brother. We're going to need a bigger boat. I agree. Water condenser and membrane. 
Man, it's taking a while. Printing completed. Uh, place the engine on the external part of the airship. Okay. I guess we'll get one engine. Maximum flight speed increased. We're going to need a bigger boat. Alright, synthetic. Printing completed. Printing completed. Oh, good. So this can hold a hundred. Boom. Depart the location. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. All right, let's get the boat started. And there we go. Wow, there's tons of stuff in those buildings. Oh, damn. Whoa. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So, removing some scrap might topple over buildings. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, I guess removing some of the structure actually affects the buildings in this game. That's cool. I'm going to do a little harvesting for a minute. That's cool. Priceless artifacts, you're right. Yeah, the, the priceless artifacts, chat. All right, let's research a small... No, we can't. We need to get plastic scrap to research that. Well, let's just go to the flashing light now. So there's the dust down below, which looks to be, um, almost like leaves or something. You know what I want to do? I want to make a cooker and a water purifier. Okay, let's put our water purifier here. And we'll grab our electric cooker. Hey, we got something. More food. thing takes forever to cook. Printing completed. Cool. Oh, it's going to take a while for the water purification. Uh, let's see, those are rotten now. Uh, 
Now the lure will no longer work. A moth swarm? Oh, it's a threat. Oh, we gotta... We gotta avoid those. They might attack the airship. Okay. This game is awesome. It certainly is. Alright. What else do we got to drink? Old canned water. Ew, old water. Okay, let's add the fresh water and the dust moth. Let's throw on cruise control. We'll head towards the blinky light. Man, that takes a long time. Mmm, good. Coming in for a landing now. Hopefully we'll grab more materials so we can make this ship a lot bigger. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Communication point. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Towers to use to maintain communication between distant points. Okay. Alright, so that's where we're going to find plastic scrap. That'll be a little bit more rare. Solid state battery. Oh, there's going to be lots of stuff to find. Probably get more water so we can clean it. We'll need to make another bottle. Let's make a bottle. Oh, we got to research it first. Good morning from Australia. Well, good morning. Hydration level is decreasing. Research finalized. Okay, we need more synthetics for that. Oh, it's raining. basic turbine. Now we can build that. So it's like Subnautica where you can find uh, blueprints out in the world. You just gotta go find the locations. Repair patches, machine parts, rotten food. Maybe we can use that for farming. Synthetic fuel. Ooh, this place was loaded with stuff.
Hey, another battery. <sighs> oh, there's a le <laughs> there's a letter in the mailbox. Nothing personal. From stories of my grandparents, the world before Smogson's unrealistically bl uh, beautiful. Perhaps it was too good for humanity and therefore had to come to an end. The current one is apparently crappy and meaningless, which fits everyone I've dealt with. But we got what we deserve, so no, I won't lend you my books. One, because it's uh, basically meaningless, and two, figure it out for yourself. Alright, so somebody was like definitely living here. They had a mail system going on, too. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, airship builder. Okay, so that's how we'll expand our ship a little bit. We just need more things to fly by. Let's see, there's our empty bottle. We'll get that so we can get some more water going. Printing completed. So we can either get water from these little satellite dishes or from the atmosphere. <clears throat> Unfortunately with the membrane, it's a one-time use thing. And that can hold up to five. There we go. Okay, anything else? Oh, there was synthetic fuel there. Ooh. Ooh, good thing we came back. All right, now we got to use the deck gun to uh, gobble up all this material. We need to make a synthetic lure, too. What happened to all the people in this game? Well, they're mentioning something about a virus, so... I guess we'll see what that means soon enough. Let's see if we can research a lure. Still need more synthetics. Okay, that's going to be a good one. Okay. Oh, let's uh, purify that water. Did that use the bottle? No, okay. So now we have a basic turbine which will help us go up and down. Just need to research that. So the turbine helps us with altitude up and down. Research finalized. We have our airship builder so we can expand the size of the ship now. Storage box would be good eventually. I think we're okay for now. Hmm. Printing completed. Hi, Dan. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so yeah, now we can build lots of stuff. Rooms, catwalks. Airship can be quite, quite a big thing. All right, let's, um... Maybe we could build another deck extractor pointing forward. Need to get some water, though. Um, have a little drink. And we'll need some food soon. Need some food, dude. Need some food, dude. Oh, there's railing, too. Nice. That'll be good to not die. Okay, then we 
we gotta craft another fabricate another deck extractor which takes oh we can only have one takes a transformer right, let's put it on the front removal mode oh Q to pick up well, that's nice you can just pick it up and move it that's cool Okay, let's go up a little bit. Oh, and I want to make that... I want to make that uh, thingy, too. We need more electric elements. Can we fabricate those? Let's see if we can fabricate electric elements for our own. I think that requires copper. Research finalized. Okay, so right now we can't go any higher than this until we get a turbine. I think that takes copper. Copper and synthetics. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of a lot of synthetics in this game. All right, let's go to the double blue lights. If we miss anything, we can always come back. It's not like it's gonna disappear. Unless it collapses, but we'll see. Chad, we need some food. I'm hungry. You think a Wendy's still exists in this post-apocalyptic world? Oh, it's post-apocalyptic, so... Let's put on cruise control and we'll gather materials on the way. Uh, lock speed... No. Today's my birthday, March 23rd. God, those are right in front of the ship. slower. Uh, yeah, let me adjust something that might help. Let's try... this. Okay. Man. Oh, there's the windmills. We'll get some copper from there. There we go. 
Oh, we can now make an in <clears throat> advanced insect lure and something about a rain catcher. I'll stop here for a minute. Advanced insect lure. Hmm. Oh, we can make a transformer too. Uh, first things first, let's try to get that turbine going. Oh, rainwater collector, that's good. Printing completed. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need food. And a turbine. Research finalized. Nerd Palooza, thanks for the 11 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, one month to go, and then you're at the one year. You need to make a bed, too. Printing completed. Hey, Flieger, what's up? Maximum flight altitude. We'll move things around when we have a little bit more room. Hydration level is decreasing. Thank you very much for the 21 months, man. This will be out soon for everybody. Chat seems excited. That's good. We have the simple insect lure, too. Oh, we need a sun melon to make the advanced one. Okay. Well, let's make a simple one. We'll get some food. Printing completed. Vulnerability to viruses rises. I will right, we'll grind out some materials for a little bit. What's up, Brant? Welcome aboard, dude. Oh, we got some. Dust lettuce. All we are is lettuce in the wind. Cabbage. Dirty kabaj. Dirty kabaj. What's up, Tony? How you doing? Well, that doesn't really get much for food at all. Yeah, we need to make a storage box. Um, 
vulnerability to viruses arises. Is it possible to jump off? Yes. If I die, though, we lose like 20% of our stuff. Oh god. I think we should leave. Okay, uh, let's quick put down our storage box. I don't know how big a bed's gonna be. We might need to build another room. Pick up our builder gun. Completed. Alright, catwalk and a door. Unless these two are connected now. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, so we can move this. And we gotta pick up our bed. Let's go, bed! I bet you if we sleep, we're probably going to need uh, food and water, too. Okay, we can boil two more. Now let's take a little nap. Sleeping. Is this one of those games where you just build and survive while advancing your tools and stuff? Well, yeah, that and there's also a story to this one. It's it's like Subnautica where it's got a story. Ooh, is it was raining. Good thing we don't get attacked or anything while we sleep. At least I don't think we were attacked. I hope not. Research that rainmaker. All right, let's go to the double lights. Research finalized. Fuel depleted. Oh, you can turn them on. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can turn engines on and off as you need. All right, we gotta make more fuel. Printing completed. Calories level is decreasing. <sighs> Printing completed. Okay, we can fuel up the engines. And we want to build that rain catcher. And we need more plastic scrap and copper for that. I think before we land, we should go to all the little windmills and see if we can collect their stuff. We went to that one. Oh, it's really hard to see. Very hard to see out here. Oh, 
Oh, now we can see again. Alright, there's two here. We're looking for copper now before we land. Plastic scrap, okay. What's all the green stuff? Well, it's called the the dust. It seems to be some sort of a virus or something that's multiplied and, like, is choking out Earth's atmosphere. Like, it's blocking out the sun just above the surface of the Earth. At least it seems like that. So it's almost like, um... Kind of like the Ice Age again on the surface of Earth. Let's make sure we get all these. Looks like something there. Oh. There's this metal that got stuck. Okay. Lukester, thanks for the 15 months. Hey, man, brother. Good to have you in the chat. Welcome back. Thanks, Chef, for hanging out with me. It's nice to have you here today. It's a Sunday, but, you know, almost Monday, but thanks for hanging out. <laughs> it's, all, it's almost Monday. I hate to say it, but, you know. Hey, it's still a good day to have pizza, right? Yeah, there, this does have shipbuilding, yeah. And we built a little bit, but we don't really have ma too much materials yet. <laughs> Soon, though. Soon. Soon. Wow, what a beautiful day for a landing. Uncharted area. New member, the welcome. The analysis started. Gentle analysis landing, Raptor. Completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. All right, note to self, build a better airship. But before we do that, let's look around for stuff. We got helium now. That's a new thing. We unlocked a location radar by scanning that. Oh, this is somebody's crashed ship. I see. I see. Oh, copper. We're gonna have to get that with the deck gun. Ooh, lots of copper here. Okay. And somebody's house. Metal floor. Synthetic fuel. Circuit board, we found a graphics card. Heal him. We're going to have to come back with the deck gun. Is that a gun rack, brother? Uh, 
I don't know if I can shoot the gun in there to get that. We're going to have to be pretty precise. Copper seems to be really another rare resource where we better grab every little bit of it. This game looks really damn cool. Like, the design of all the buildings and stuff are really neat. And in order to get in there, I think we got to remove... Oh, no. We've been in here. Am I the only survivor? As far as I know, but this game will have four-player co-op, so... I guess we're not necessarily a survivor. We're more like an away team that's visit. A storm is coming. Uh oh. We're visiting Earth. What does that mean, ma'am? Storm is coming. Is there like an auto sort button? No. Helium flu. Medium efficiency fuel. Oh, it works better than hydrogen fuel. Okay. So we can make a fuel out of that. Compressed light gas used to fill balloons in airships. Oh, ah. So it's like in Subnautica when you make, like, it, probably in order to make a ship that's even bigger, we first need to upgrade our balloon. Oh, boy. I, I think we should stay inside. Lightning strikes the highest targets. Lower altitude or seek cover. Oh, okay. Alright, let's lower our Ooh, okay. Hydration level is decreasing. We'll hide under here. Do we take damage? I guess so. Old food ration, that'll do. Now would be a good time to put out that rain collector. Ah, but I don't have plastic scrap. This is fine. I'm not scared at all. Calories level is decreasing. Um where's a patch? Maybe I can repair with this thing. Repair patch. One time use, okay. I guess we're good now. The patch only repairs like 1 or 2%. Oof. Okay, I think we're good now. Let's back out of here. That was close. I saw the meter maid coming around. City Skylines 2 versus Starfield hype level. Um, ah, oh man, I gotta be honest. Um, I'm excited for City Skylines 2 as a sequel because the first one was so good and I'm excited for City, uh, for Starfield because it's like completely like a whole new IP or franchise like one's a sequel and I hope it's going to be even better than the original and Starfield I hope it's I hope it's the best game that uh, new member. Welcome. Todd and his team ever made I'm hyped I got hope I want more games chat and I want more good games by the way chat Tomorrow we're going to do a... I'm going to put a video on the channel and it's going to be a top 10 of like Steam demos that will be available on the next fest. And on Monday, a bunch of games are going to have free demos. Like, for example, this game has a free demo. But there's going to be a bunch of games that are going to get even more free demos. Like, for example, and I don't know why, but the devs of... Um, of... Uh, oops. 
uh, the devs of the Invincible have like another new demo for their game. Um, I didn't get access to it yet, so I was kind of confused. I was like, oh, is there a new demo or what? But hey, hey. But yeah, so uh, like the Invincible is going to get a whole new demo that you haven't seen before, and I want to put that on the channel. I wish they would have sent, told me and like sent me the like an early demo version or something because I I love that game and I want to play it more. I saw like a couple people got access to it, and I was like, oh damn, they're making another demo. So, but anyway, tomorrow morning around this time, I wanted to stream a bunch of random new games that are like you know either new demos or like the best demos. Like tomorrow, we're gonna take a look at the best stuff on Steam. Or the newest stuff on Steam for demos. Now remember, Next Fest is the same event. It happens like every couple of months, but on Steam, it's the same time that gave us time to play Broken Arrow and Manor Lords. So if you're excited for like Broken Arrow and Manor Lords, and who knows, maybe there'll be like a surprise demo of City Skylines too. Probably not going to happen, but you know, the next event is where Steam gets a bunch of because they're games that are coming next to Steam, like they're not yet released. Um, and technically, this one won't be released until, I think, the 22nd. So when it starts on the 19th, a bunch of games will be, like, free on Steam for, like, a little a little try-it-out-for-free event. Which is good. Like, you get to try out a game before you can buy it and see if you like it or not. And all you gotta do is just, like, download it. Pretty good deal. We can always dream. I know, I know. I would love for that to happen. I don't think it'll happen. We would have heard about it by now, but, you know. I think if there's going to be any event where we get to play any sort of big hyped free new game or free demo, it's gonna be, it's gonna be at this event. Oops. Now where was that windmill? Build a new wall on the airship and build a location radar. Oh, these guys are going away from me. Okay. Still seeing if I can get all the copper here. I think there's some there. Is that everything? Pretty sure. Okay, let's try to build this thing they want us to build. So the location radar. Oh, there we go. We can expand the balloon and we can in increase the uh, core of the balloon too. Increase lift capacity. And like, so we can both upgrade the existing balloon and we can build new balloons cool cool research and craft the location radar oh there it is lower altitude to catch prey well we'll do that later insert stall solid state battery there you go Okay, location radar. We need a circuit board for that. Boom. Can I use the collector gun to... Co oh, I, tr I tried to shoot the Mazda with the, the deck gun and it didn't do anything. I guess we can only catch them one at a time, otherwise they're a little dangerous. Standing by, yeah, yeah. It's gonna take a while. Well, it's taking a while to do that, huh? Printing completed. Yeah. Can we upgrade the deck gun? Maybe. There might be a way to do that. 
This is our location radar. I guess maybe I'll put that up. Ooh, cool. All right, so now we know where all the big points of interest are. Closest one being over there. That's kind of cool. You can just mount that on the windshield like that. Reach the exclamation point on the radar. Well, I guess we'll go to the closest at point three nine. Build a new wall on the airship. Can I build a wall and then put a door in it? Ooh, that's fancy. Ramped, but you know. It works. Kind of weird how to open and close doors you have to like look in the middle of the door. It'd be nice if there were a button. Okay, let's go to... Oh, never mind. There's not 1.39. Uh, closest one would be... That one. Well, now that we got a radar, we can always come back to locations. Uh, the deck gun can be placed on the catwalk, yeah. I'm sure I missed some stuff, but I want to go see if there's more food. I want to try to get free food. I think we'll go from blinky light to blinky light. I guess they're worth stopping at, right? Because there could be food, materials, fuel. Yeah, I'm going to need to make a water membrane. Also, we're supposed to go lower to catch fish. Oh, come on. This should should be able to take a little bit of a bump. Okay, let's do a membrane if we can. Gotta research it. Or not. Hopefully that catches something soon. Lots of materials, yep. Oh, a lantern. Uh, ornamental lamp once used to decorate apartments has no practical use but makes you feel cozier. Oh, okay, so we can get decorations in the game. Cool. There should be plastic scrap near these piles. There we go. I need to make like an advanced lure. We need way more food. Or preferably like a garden or something.
Okay, another solid state battery. Cool. Let's go see if we can get food. Hopefully we caught something. Is there much fall damage? Let's see. Now we're good. Still nothing. Oh, we need a sun melon for one of those, damn. We need another uh, insect catcher. We need to double our odds of 0%. Printing completed. Printing completed. Okay, let's try one of those. Oh boy. Risk of dehydration. And okay, now we can make a water a rain collector. There we go. Printing completed. Finally. Alright, we're going to need more water. Oh. Is this one not... I feel like we should have caught way more food than that. That one's got a lure. I feel like that other one's glitched. Oh, never mind. Alright. <laughs> I was like, this one's never caught anything. But it did. Okay, good. Uh, now we gotta get the rain thing situated and move some stuff around. And once we're done with food and water prep, we'll go gather the rest of the materials out there. Okay, this I can't use at the moment. Alright, that situation's looking a little bit better. Well, if I move, though, we're not going to be able to get food. What happened with the world with all the stuff in there? Something to do with the virus. We're kind of figuring it out as we go. We're not sure yet. Okay, 
Okay, let's make a little bit more food. Hopefully, prepared food doesn't go bad. It's a lot of water, though, so... Okay, we're going to leave these rays, and we're going to go gather those materials now. those yellow thingies went. Cool. Alright, I want to make another rain catcher if we can. That means more plastic and we don't have it. Alright. It's a shame. Okay, a little nap. Hydration level is decreasing. Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, fuel depleted. Big old scrap metal there on that crane. Need to go to the right around this building. Yo, Nienmach, thank you very much for the uh, 10 months as a raptor egg. See if this is filling up. Oh, it is. Maybe it only holds two. Love the water purifier. That thing is great. What if we can go in those buildings? Let's go to this tower. Yeah, let's do cruise control for a little bit. Synthetics! Need those synthetics. You can't put dirty water. Oh. You have to take out the clean before you put in more dirty water. Go see if we can find more. Coming to these little, like, uh, wrecks and stuff is really cool. Or what would you call these? Maybe like abandoned sites or something? 
these hooses. Did the floating things hit or damage your ship? No, the little things that we can extract don't, but there, there's like these swarms of bugs, and they seem like they could do some damage. You love spam? Well, don't be afraid to spam your spam emote. And thank you to all you members for your support. Thanks for smacking that join button. Let's go up top. Hey, more dirty water. Good. Ooh, three. Oh, there's more. Wow, okay, that was a ton of plastic. Woo, baby. All right, these are totally worth stopping at. Beautiful. Chad, if we have a scuba bear emote, you know what we need next is like a, a bear with like, uh, you know, like the bomber jacket on and like the, like the, the pilot goggles. That'd be kind of cool. What am I going to get? Tetanus, ma'am? All this, all this rust. Wow, this was like plastic HQ. Yeah, the kitty emotes next in line. We need to get a hundo in any any live stream. We need to get a hundred consecutive members. That's our goal. Okay, well we got a lot of water we can purify. That's good. Okay, can we make dinner? Make another meal. And then another rain catcher, probably. I don't want to run out of water again, or get close to it. Put those two real close to each other. Okay, uh, let's see. What can I salvage?
Those uh, don't seem to provide too much scrap and synthetics. We could easily find those on the road. Roads? Oh, fuel depleted. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. That's right. Alright, let's get that helium fuel. Do go bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so food is like we probably shouldn't catch food until we really need it then because we can't preserve it. Damn. We gotta constantly be doing that. Well, now we got water coming in. Got to go to the other side. All right, so now it's raining. It Caution. looks like a storm is coming. Oh, looks like we're going down. hang out here for a minute. We're just going to hang tight while the storm passes, and then we're going to try to head for, um, I think the one to our left. Yeah, storms in this are wild. We're moving these to the back. Sounded like it hit something. You know, I wonder 
If we don't take food out of the cooker, if it won't go bad, that might be a good way to, like, exploit that. I'm gonna wait until the storm's over. We're not going nowhere with that lightning storm out there. Sounds like it's passing. That's kind of like the, um, feels like the storms in Sea of Thieves. Yeah, har. Yeah, let's have a little, a little nap. So that's a question mark. Is that different than this? Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Ma'am, you say that all the time. Uh, yeah, we'll be playing Sea of Thieves again, at least for that uh, event next month. Oh yeah, maybe leaving them on the hook, so that way they don't, uh... Yeah, maybe they won't go bad if we leave them on the hook. That's gonna be annoying, though, because you're gonna constantly hear that tink-tink-tink-tink-tink noise, and it's like, ah, I don't want that. Is that sun melon growing over there? Ooh. Looks like... Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Overgrown tower. Oh, some of them were communication points. This is different. Detected new objects requiring scanning. This one's a communication tower, but overgrown. Okay, there could be sun melon here, maybe. Yep. We need those for advanced lures. Judging by how... Food goes bad in about a quarter of a second. Let's make that now. We need copper. Copper? Seems worth it. Oh, it has more durability and a shorter catch time. This is a brilliant game. I'm so glad you're playing it. I'm glad to be playing it too. Thank you very much for watching, Lem. This game is very nice. If you've been wanting to play Subnautica again, but want something different, this is kind of a nice... This feels like super familiar, yet completely refreshing at the same time. Like, it's it's Subnautica, but it's not. And it's nice. Cool thing about this one, too, from the start, is you get a vehicle. Like, Subnautica, you gotta work for it a little bit. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Nice try, developers. Trying to trap me. I got, I got stuck in a hole. The moment I tried to jump out of it, it threw me over the ledge. How dare you. What is this? A knife and biomass fuel. Hope I haven't been missing scanning things. I probably have, but... I 
A bruise flower? Oh, is that like, oh, it's, yeah, for first aid kit. Oh, we need a knife to get in there. <sighs> what is that? A wrecked tool charger. Oh, we can recharge stuff. All right. Probably at the cost of fuel. That was close. All right, we got to make a knife. We got to make a knife. Oh, what is that? Lobster chilies. Nice. That's one there, but I can't grab it. I want to be able to grow these things. Um. Yeah, it's part Subnautica and part Raft, yeah. It's both of those, for sure. But remember, in uh, Subnautica, you can also build within that ship, too. You can build all that storage, and eventually you start li almost living in the Cyclops more than you do your own base. Tool charger, circuit board. Can we make a circuit board? Well, we we need a circuit board to research a circuit board, so we need two to make one. Oh, what a sunny day. All right, can we make a knife? Polymer and plastic scrap. Not sure how we're going to get a polymer. We might have to come back here. An extractor requires an energy crystal. We haven't found that yet. Helium fuel. Okay, so we m we'll have to come back here. I wonder if we can mark... It would be nice if we could mark these as, like, need to return to. I don't think we can make a polymer yet. Hydration level. Alright, let's go to this one next. Actually, can we... Slightly dehydrates, boiled, it can cure... Oh, it's a cure! Lobster chili is a cure for photophobia. It's, it's a little bit of a food, but more of a medicine. Or like an antidote, okay. Oh yeah, so these towers are marked differently. So the one with the leaf on top is just like the one we just visited. The regular communication tower just has regular materials, and the one with the windmill has copper. Okay. I think we're going to skip the next one then. Yeah, copper we can get from the, uh, from the windmill towers. I 
Actually, I'm going to continue at regular speed. I'll get the food. Okay. Oh, the blue ones are real big points of interest. Okay, so each of those exclamation points must be something for the main story, perhaps, or some big new unlock. Although we did just find that that one uh, botanical tower we went to did have... Oh, no fuel. One of the botanical towers we did go to had that charging station, so we gotta find... It might actually be worth going to those. You know what? Let's just go to the main thing. We'll just have to remember we didn't go to one of these. Actually, we didn't get to it yet. We still have time. Printing completed. Make more. Printing completed. Printing completed. Printing completed. Oh, there's one that's, uh... Now there's one that's 195. What the hell? This is going around those group of buildings, but... Oh, there's one up there at 1.18. Okay, we're going the right way. This is hard to see. There's a blue one over there that's not marked. That must be the uh, copper one. Alright, so it looks like copper... Okay, so communication towers can be standard or overgrown, and they have the orange lights. Blue is the copper windmill sites, it looks like. There should be one over there. Can't see it, though. Okay. I think we're learning. Alright, coming in for a landing. One question for chat, totally random. Oh, what would that be, RC guy? Warning, warning. Low altitude. Uh... No? Oh, yeah. Hmm, I'm assuming this chili will probably go bad soon. Alright, let's put these solid state batteries in storage. We need another storage box. We're getting too much stuff. And take more synthetics. Nice time to have a beer, amen, brother. Uh, maybe we can make some other drinks in this game other than just food. Duck gun needs automation. 
Maybe there'll be a way to do that. Maybe we can upgrade the gun and then tell it to, like, gather specific materials for us. There could be a way, maybe. That might be a possibility. I'll keep metal on me. Get rid of that for now. Glass I haven't had to use yet. Okay. Hydration level is decreasing. This lady is so helpful. She's a bit on the negative side, though. She only points out the negative things. Like, she never... Never says, like, oh, you're doing great. Hey, we got a new blueprint. Glass floor. Okay, so it looks like deck... Different types of... Base decorations can either be found or blueprints to, like, change the type of the base can be found. Like, like we just found the glass floor. Oh, chat, this is going to start becoming like, um... This game's going to start becoming like, um... Uh, Planet Crafter for me. We're going to have to make a nice ship. We'll need a lot more material, though. It seems like it's... Even just to make a few catwalk pieces, it takes quite a bit of metal. And we can't go down there till we get a knife. We will say you're doing great. Good. And I don't know why she doesn't say, like, hydration levels looking awesome. The ship is great. You're smart. No, it's got to be like, um, hydration's not great. It's like, oh. Thank you. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, but I would do it differently. Like that's how she's acting. Hey. Hydration level is decreasing. Let's get out of here. Okay. searching. I wish we could pick these up. They're so tiny, but we need the deck gun. Oh, hey. Join Project Oxygen. That's lore. Oh, chat, mate. It's, it's got to be worth it then. St stopping at every single one of these things is worth it for blueprints, for lore. I will have to stop at every one of them. At least on our way. Immune 
immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Yep, so they only hold two each. Alright, we'll keep going. We can always come back. Let's swing by the uh, windmills. <laughs> Our lobster chili Pepe hands? I know. The lobster chili has probably died. I hope there's a way that we can store food longer, like some sort of a refrigerator, or maybe we can make a f like a little pot or something to grow stuff. Copper here. Oh, I can see mountains. Okay. certainly find more copper. I can see, ooh, like four right there. Beautiful. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Another circuit board. Inventory is full now. Could use a circuit board to research how to make circuit boards. That'd probably be a good investment. Be a good idea to unlock that. Oh, we have to go pick one up. Hydration level is decreasing. Well, now we're starting to get all sorts of stuff.
Printing completed. Printing completed. Yeah, we need polymer to make a knife, but I don't see it as a thing we can research yet. As I see, the the knife there takes polymer. We might need to find polymer and then maybe research it and then we can make it? Maybe. But we can always go back to the areas we were in just to see... Is there a quick transfer? Oh, yeah. Also, I'm keeping the rotting food because it could maybe be used as fertilizer. I don't know. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Okay, let's go back and grab stuff. Yeah, when we get back to the ship, we'll do research on everything we have collected so far and knock it off the list. Got an old food ration there. That'll be good. Mmm. Old. Ooh, lots of circuit boards here. RTX on. Helium. Yeah, we could build more onto the ship when we get... Uh, we need more materials to do it. We're getting them little by little. copper behind us. Okay, let's start doing some research. We have a little bit of time. Let's research machine parts. Oh, each time that we research to it takes a little bit of the battery level, so we might need... We got a few batteries. We might need to save one for something else. Research finalized. We'll see. That plastic scrap. So researching this allows us to make it. So I think if we research plastic scrap, we can then start using synth like I think we can synthesize it from synthetics, I think. Charger we can't do. Extractor we can't do. Wait. No, we can do the... Ooh, the re... Okay. Immunity is decreasing. Disease Charges is entry of less demanding severe. tools. Now, we don't... Maybe we don't need that yet. A transformer would be good, though. We can make multiple things. Are there plants in this game? Yes, there is. Yep. I'm not sure if we can grow them yet, but we'll see. Research Okay, we need synthetics. Maybe we should just knock things off the list for funsies.
Ooh, ooh, a storm. Hold on. Airships launcher critically damaged. That big booty. Need a backup camera on this thing. Really hard to tell what's damaged and what's not. I don't think we'll need the water condenser membrane, but probably couldn't hurt. Yet to explore a little bit more of this area. Research finalized. We can research a motherboard, craftable element used to produce advanced devices. We need copper for that. Meow, see? Copper, meow. Alright, there we go. That's fine. That's normal. Fine and normal. Research finalized. Note sticker? Yeah, apparently that's a thing to uh, label stuff in the game. So I guess you could put it on like a box. But, I'm gonna just try to remember. Materials are a little limited, so... Apparently we can make biomass fuel, too. We need a flower and the chili to make a med kit. Maybe we can catch a little dinner. Yeah, we researched a label maker, yeah. That feels good to research what we can, though. And you never know. Maybe it'll be useful. Yeah, I think you're right. Eventually we'll be able to upgrade the ship into a flying fortress of maybe multiple levels. There is a, um, <clears throat> there's a block called like a ladder block or something like that. All right, we'll make two din-dins and then we'll head on up and go grab some cat cabbage or whatever else is up there. Copper, I guess.
standing by. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Oh, you think we should leave a <clears throat> like a sticky note behind on whether or not we went there? That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, there's got to be a way to, like, mark the map, because at a certain point you're just going to kind of forget. Okay, I think there's some copper here. Oh, that's on fire. This thing's got a great range, though. Is there a live raptor? Yes, I'm currently... currently alive. sure there was more but uh oh you know we're very close to that exclamation point all right we we could come back here we're very close let's swing by this one real quick and then we'll be at our our main objective <clears throat> ship was damaged really what what Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Oh, a health kit, nice. Should be a solid state battery up here. Still can't get into those rooms. Soon. It'll be like how it is in, like, Zelda. You gotta, like, come back to a dungeon later. I find it weird how we... We've taken damage, but that part's... The, the part that's on fire is not damaged. It's some other part of the ship. Okay, let's go to 
We're gonna we're just gonna go straight to the exclamation point. We'll come we'll come back to the uh, windmills. Okay, so the exclamation point is kind of a green color. Interesting. Oh, look at all the debris. It's migrating for mating season. How beautiful. Sorry. Is this multiplayer? Uh, this is not multiplayer at the moment. I'm not playing multiplayer. The game also won't be multiplayer at launch, but multiplayer will be coming uh, to it after early access, a little little bit of time. So it eventually will be a multiplayer game. Oh yeah, you can see mountains to our right. Hmm. We might need to upgrade the airship to get to those locations. All right, let's see what this one's going to be. I bet you if we build another engine, we'll go faster, too. Although, I don't know if we really want to go faster. I think we'll just be stopping at everything we can. We might need to build another thruster to go higher, though. Yep. Cool. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Okay. <laughs> this really looks cool. Not turbine engine. Engines are for speed. Turbines are for altitude. We have to go up to get up to the top of that platform up there. This is as high as we can go now. Soon. Soon. Printing completed. Cool. Maximum flight altitude increased. It looks a little weird for now, I'll, I'll admit, but when we get some spare materials, we'll make it look pretty. Ooh, what is that? Started. Oh, yeah. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scan. All right, where are we? Oh, we're at a research station. What the hell? 
Wind farm variants, tower variants, garden variants. Oh. Oh, so we have to we have to visit each of these locations just to continue to complete uh, overall scans. Hydration level is decreasing. Okay, so garden variants have polymer, possibly. Epoxy, canola, oil barrels. So there's research we can get through the research station, but also for visiting. Immunity is decreasing. Let's Diseases go. might become more severe. Let's go check this place out for a little bit. This is fascinating. Whoa! Oh, we're going to be here for a while. Maybe I should bring some extra food and water. Hold on. Okay, so we still need to find polymer. Uh, maybe, maybe there's food up there. Let's just be quick. What is this thing? A football. I found a football? Our airship looks goofy. I can't wait to fix it. Hey, there's polymer. Now we can make a knife. They want us to now find an overgrown glass house. So those are the ones that we've been seeing that we couldn't... Uh, cut through because we didn't have a knife. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. They gave us tons of polymer. And water, too. And epoxy. Large bottle, automated... Oh, there you go. Automated insect catcher. All right, so there is some automation. Look at all this butter. We're getting all this butter. Requires a bottle. Oh, that's just water. Research it first. Oh, we have to research it um, in the machine. I don't think we can. I don't think we can scan objects like that. A tree? They do exist. Keebler elves are in there. A coffee nut? Oh, it's a coffee tree? Oh, there's more lobster chilies. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, red coffee cups indeed. Fill them up. Wow, 
Uh, we got a lot of polymer. Alright, let's go make a knife. How's that noise? The hell? Something attacking me? Or the ship? Correct upgrade station. Ooh, we can upgrade stuff now. All right, pog. Is that a landing pod? <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody landed here. Oh, for sure. All right, let's go back to our uh, our ship. I got a lot of stuff to drop off. Hydration level is decreasing. That landing almost looks like a crash. I guess I guess it was a crash landing, yeah. Oh, we got so much to fix up on the ship now. And so much to put away. Alright, let's research that knife first of all. Get that get that produced. Butter. Yeah, we can make the butter knife now, that's right. <laughs> we can make the butter knife, yep. True. Scooting some things around here, chat. There we go. Yeah, we can make the big bottle now, yep. So that's good. Upgrade station as well. Uh, used to create device upgrades, improves functionality and efficiency. Hmm. We'll need to make some circuit boards for that. Oh, crossbow and bolts. Oh, damn, there's weapons. Look at that. Shoots bolts. Well, we might need that. Oh, yeah. A knife. Indeed, she fox, there is a knife. Research finalized. Ah, looks like I'm short on plastics. An additional oxygen tank increasing its supply. That's interesting. That might be something we can upgrade. No, you cannot have one. Oh, can we upgrade the storage box? Epoxy and metals equal storage box. Oh, that's got to be a bigger one, yeah. Because this one's called the small storage box. Right? Yeah. Even though when I open it, it just says storage box. Alright, we need a bigger... We need a bigger box. Sad fox noises, I know. Research finalized. Okay, let's make a knife. Oh, we don't have plastic scrap though. Thank you, ma'am. I'm watching my figure. It's nice of you to notice. 
Okay, we need metal. Wait a minute. When the building collapsed, my camera shook. We're in the air. Unplayable. No, we haven't found any peanut butter, but that is one way to kill she foxes. You just. You have to stab her with a peanut butter knife. like vampires and stakes or like werewolves and silver bullets. It is funny, yes. I don't see any more metal around. Well, we'll go back to one of the uh, closest greenhouses then. Just back the way we came. So let's go there. That's our next goal. We can always come back here. There was a lot of stuff up top, though. There was, like, some other plants up there and something shrieking at us. I'm going to have to get a knife if we're going to deal with that. You just throw stuff on the ground. Don't I need to? No, that that upgrade station was broken. We'll have to make our own, but we have the blueprint for it. I do need we need metal too um plastic scrap too.
Sprinting complete. Oh, okay. See anything? What do we need for that? Oh boy. Uh huh. Alright, we're looking for this thing. I'll just land on it. Warning. Low altitude. Warning. Low altitude. Warning. Negative attitude. Warning. Entering dust layer. High damage imminent. The Ma'am, I, I walked down there. Warning. Low altitude. Warning. Low altitude. Oh my god. Warning. Fatigue. Rest is recommended. Yeah, we're building this ship. Well, that storm was rough. Okay, now we can protect ourselves from she fox. Yeah, anything that we want to build chat will take way more materials. So if we're going to make the ship bigger, if we're going to build more storage. To get stuff, we need things. And to do things, we need stuff. Biomass from that. So we can make fuel out of this. Wait. Find under dust location coordinates. Oh, so there's passage below this whole storm somewhere. This isn't what I was thinking, but we got free food, so that's good. We'll go up and make dinner. It's funny, it actually takes a little bit of stamina to do that. Kind of cool. Side. Can I scan and grow them? Mm, no, I don't think so. Would be cool though.
automated insect catcher. Hmm. Glitch through the wall somehow. Oh. That X means there's no window there or anything. Oh, I didn't know. Actually, it's probably a good idea to keep that open. I need to be able to see. Biomass fuel. Okay, let's uh, go grab some chili thingies and make some medicine. Are there jellyfish in the game? If so, they're a jelly. I, I don't know about that. Okay, so we need to find an overgrown glass house. Actually, wasn't that basically where we were? With like the giant trees and stuff? Synthetics. Research. Research first aid. Research finalized. Okay, we need more synthetics. Cool. Okay, we research synthetic fuel. Can we? I mean, uh, biomass fuel. We need clean water for that. Okay. Calories level is decreasing. Oh, we need five clean water. game is not really hardcore. Oh, it can be. There's the permadeath mode, which is pretty hardcore. Die and you're permanently dead and have to restart the entire game. That seems pretty hardcore. Actually, don't most games call that hardcore mode? Alright. I wonder how biomass fuel is. we can make. Alright, let's go back to that What does red mean? It must mean it's down low. Green must be up high. And blue is too slow. High five. Alright, let's go back. Maybe we need to go back to that location.
Okay, we're gonna need food, so... And we need synthetics, too. Inventory full, that's fine. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately the bees don't seem to give anything. It's a moth swarm. Now we need metal. I think we need 50 for that. Pog Lab, thanks for the 28 months. Appreciate your support. Welcome back to the Big O Streams. Pog Lab emote wall. Okay, that was for the big bottle. here. Uh, name of the nuclear power plant game? I can't remember. I'll look it up for you. It's like nu Nucleus? It's like Nuclear SE or it's got a weird, weird name to it. see what's around us. Wow, look at that. That is post-apocalyptic right there. Yeah, there you go. Nuclear e ES or nuclears or something. It's like a nuclear power plant simulator, but like you do it with an AI or something. Yay! Now let's make dinner. Oh, we can carry more water. I oh. thought that could only capture two at a time. Okay, I want to go up there when we have some water. Okay, well, we wait the, for the purifier. Let's nap for a little bit. Starvation. Critical condition. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, what do I think of the grid tool for City Skylines 2? Oh, the one where you can click and drag roads. I mean, you know, SimCity 2013, I think, had that. But anything that just giving you more and more options to make your city is like giving you a bunch of... It's like being a painter. Like that famous guy on PBS, I think his name was um, Rob something. Rob Rob Boss. The more and more, uh, you know, paint brushes you give a player, the more they can paint the city that they want. So it's like... You know, the more little options they give you to f free build roads or build grids or roundabouts or whatever, you know. Pl players are going to mod things in anyway, so you may as well just put it in by default. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty. Wow. Alright, now we have some din din. Okay, now I want to make that box, but we need more metal for that. I don't think we had enough. Oh, it's synthetics and metals. Okay. Well, maybe we'll... There's some metal there. That's too far range. Yeah, we're supposed to find something called the Underdust Location Coordinates, which is weird because at the start of the game there was like a lot of lore and tablets and stuff, but I'm not sure what this is or why we're trying to find it. It could be our main mission. Like our character kind of knows what they're doing, but we don't know why yet, maybe. Okay, let's go get that stuff. Oh, I bet we can go up there, too. I want to build, like, a really nice ship, but it's going to take a lot of materials. We're going to have to find a way to more effectively farm. Metal kind of tricky to come by because it doesn't seem to blow by too often in the atmosphere. I had to take an entire crane down just to be able to build that, that thing. Alright, this is the bigger storage box. Hopefully it has double the capacity. Standing by calories level is decreasing. Standing by. Man, that box takes forever. Hopefully, I, I hope we can get an upgraded uh, fabricator that can make stuff faster. It's not too bad, but... Oof. We should be able to move these, right? Yeah, we, we can move these boxes once we make the ship bigger. <sighs> Research upgrade station? Uh, we can't. We need uh, circuit boards and glass. Well, we have the glass, but not the circuit boards. Like I mentioned earlier, in order to get stuff and things, we'll need more things and stuff. Soon. Soon. It's pretty cool, though, that we can make a crossbow and stuff. I wonder if you can... attack your friends. Boy, imagine four... Four people on this ship would be really tough to, like... It's like at the beginning of Raft, where Raft is really resource-heavy at the very start. In terms of, like, you have to have somebody dedicated to just, like, making the food and water forever. If you have a group of four, it's like you got to have, like, the 
the nanny to like make sure everybody can survive. Craft circuit boards, like I mentioned earlier, we'll need more stuff and things. We don't have the things and the stuff. And we need more plastic scrap. And to make plastic scrap, we need more synthetics. It's going to take time, chat. Just be patient, please. It's going to just take time. Okay. Okay, there sounds like something that's going to attack me. Am I going to get attacked? Also, there's got to be a way into that room. Oops. What's up, Mapton? That's a giant rain catcher. Okay. So that's how they were growing these trees here. That's what that giant thing at the bottom is for. I don't know if there's a way to go higher. Oh, this is what we were looking for. Make your way through the doorway blocked by vines. Oh. There we go. Take all these flowers. Okay, the computer's offline. We need a solid state drive on us. All right, let's go back and get one of those because we're going to have to power the computer. It's exactly like the previous one. Yeah, it is the... We're back at the same location. I left for a bit thinking that it was the glass room at one of the locations we were at before, but it was actually, they actually meant this one. <laughs> So we're about to see now. Hmm. Hey, look at that. Some actual decent storage, chat. Oop. Icky. Drank the gross water. My bad. Alright, that, that's, that storage box is... That's an MVP. I wonder if we can recycle. If it, oh, Kingdoms and Castles just got an infrastructure and industry update. Ooh, good. Tell Uthras. Tell Uthras too. That's great. I thought they were done with Kingdoms and Castles after they announced their new game, which is called Nova Rome, I think. The makers of Kingdoms and Castles are making a new game that looks exactly like Kingdoms and Castles, but uh, it's uh, kind of more advanced and about Rome. A lot more about uh, aqueducts and stuff. Uh, did I make a large bottle or did I just research it? Oh, we need an empty bottle. And polymer. And synthetics. Do we need more? Nope. We're good. Alright, large, large bottle's gonna be good. You know what'd be nice is if at the bottom of the rain catchers, if we could put a bottle. That would be great. Bro, this stuff looks like I'm gonna be doing some P90X. Like, I'm going to be taking some muscle milk. 
Printing completed. The big O bottle. Ooh, damn, times 20. Alright, we can grab some big O water out of that middle thing. Problem is, though, I think the, um... I think we need to make another one because the water purifier can probably only do five at a time. So we're going to need like a storage bottle. But we could have just one dirty one and do it every so often. Okay. Yeah, I think that water source is infinite. Oh, let's get back to where we were. Yeah, it's pea soup. Where's that computer? <sighs> Place is confusing. Ooh, there's like a blueprint. Okay, now we gotta follow the cable. Wait, it goes down back inside? What? Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. Ma'am, we're fine. Yeah, I don't know why we have to power it up there. It's a laptop. Like, the cable goes... Up and then around? Where the hell does it go? Looks like the cable loops back around to the building. Is there, like, a backside? Oh, it's in here. There we go. I thought it'd be a lot further away. Oh boy. Flower breeding test results 314. Well, the latest breeding shows strong positive reactions to pollution. After a few days of exposure uh, to sulfates, it clearly flourishes. In contrast, in a clean atmosphere, it gradually dies. The side effect is unusual colors. We have a lot of testing ahead of us before we can create a plant that purifies the atmosphere. Oh, that's what they were trying to do. With what we have, however, we can uh, give a little color to life in this gray and sad reality. Sample location coordinates for the location radar are 40F0, yada, yada, yada. Yad. Okay, cool. Now we have the location. All right, that's our next main goal then is to go there. I can get some chilies, we can make some more med kits. What happens if I just eat it? Oh, plus five energy. Oh. The meth flower. Ah, so the petite one. But one will give us negative health. Okay. Oh, there's so much stuff here that... Unfortunately, we can't go up this high to... We can't go up this high to, um... Claim all this stuff. So, and there was some... It sounded like something was trying to attack us. Alright, well, we got a battery back. That's nice.
Hey, what's up, Vlad? Welcome to the stream. Alright, so they were trying to do research on flowers or plants or something. Nice thing, it doesn't look like this uh, knife has durability, but it looks like the scanner and a few other things do. Now we can scan the polymer now. Oh, plant oil and synthetics will make polymer. Okay, let's scan that. We need to make plant oil, though. How? I guess that's something we'll have to find. Oh, yeah, that could be our battery levels. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's not durability. Uh, we'll have to build the tool recharger, but that's fine. All right, the next point of interest is one kilometer away. But we need some food, so let's go get some lunch. Go slow. Caution. A storm is coming. Yo, part, thanks for the seven months, bro. Welcome to the stream. shelter under here. Man, these storms are really good. Chat, you want to see more of this game? Do you think we should play more of uh, Forever Skies? What do you think? You think it'd be cool if we keep playing more? Good so far? Okay. No, that one didn't. 
didn't catch anything. That's okay. We got a moth now, which gives us lots of food. Immunity is decreasing. Vulnerability to viruses rises. When does this get released? On the 22nd, but I think we can keep playing this every morning, chat. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you smash like, subscribe. I think we're going to be playing this a lot more. This is pretty damn cool. Alright, good shelter. This also probably has more um, copper for us. Oh, we gotta go over the mountains, it looks like, or around them. We might have to go south and then around. We might not be able to take the direct route. Now let's go up top real quick. We'll sleep later. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get over those mountains. Damn. Lots of good materials here. I think the damn moths come around when you're doing that. Keep keep you on your toes. Makes you move. You think there's a mix of No Man's Sky and Subnautica? Yeah, a little raft in here too with the whole gather materials out of thin air essentially. Hmm. Now, could make a little bit nicer of a base, a bigger ship maybe. And we could move our engines around a little bit. We'd have to remove the catwalk too. Are infections in this game similar to infections in Green Hell? Kinda, like there are cures to them. I haven't gotten one yet, but... We still don't have a lot of metal. Hmm. Well, it might be nice to travel faster. What do we need for another engine? Machine parts, synthetics, and metal. Okay, we should reorganize the ship then. Maximum flight altitude reduced. Container not empty. Oh, a 
enemy in fuel. Ooh. That biofuel seemed to last for a long time. So then... Metal, synthetics, and machine parts. Now the problem is we're going to have to manually refuel each of these engines, which is a little... It's fun. Hell yeah, brother. Well, chat, you know we're going to have to call this ship. We're going to have to call it the Rip and Dip. Hell yeah, brother. Cool. Not bad. Still need a lot more materials, though. I think, seriously, we could just sit in an area and just, like, mine for an hour. But this ship might have some... Well, there we go. Some circuit boards. There we go. Inventory full. I gotta hang up my cat posters. A new blueprint, amber storage rack. Cool. It's both a good and a bad thing that this game has cool stuff at every place you stop. It's good because there's good place at every good stuff at every place you could stop, but also bad because like if if you're trying to go somewhere quick, you might pass a lot of things. But I guess you could always come back. Right? put it in storage for now. Okay, we're gonna need fuel. <laughs> Can I upgrade the shooting range? Uh, maybe. There might be a way to do that. Bugs are just waiting for me. They really bug me. So now, if we're going to travel again, looks like we should go southwest the way we're facing and then go around the mountains, which is there. And then on the way, it looks like there's lots of places to stop.
And if we're going to build anything else for the ship, we need metal. How much is it just to build a catwalk? Five, okay. We need synthetics, too. Alright, so our next goal is to get there. Alright, we're going to try to gather materials for a little bit so we can upgrade the ship. We want to make it bigger. That's a lot of metal. Hold on. Demons with the five bomb for chat. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, ship upgrades are very expensive. If, if we're going to do anything to the ship, we need way more materials. In other words, in my mind, I want to build the whole ship all at once and not like little, little sections. It'll help me to plan. But there is also a maximum ship size until we upgrade the balloon. Go into this city, there's metal everywhere. Love how they've highlighted what you can dismantle very easily. later just need more stuff the stuff can bump in you and hurt hurt the ship. Did those bugs just appear out of nowhere? Rude. for food. Alright, let's nap for a bit. Nap time. That'll just be backup food. We'll leave that in the in the cooker. Seems to be a good tactic. Hydration level is decreasing. All right, back on the stuff mining. 
Visibility is poor. Nice work on the vinyls. Why, thank you, chat. That's very nice. Thank you. It looks like we have a lot of metal, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, what we're going to do, chat, is we're going to... Uh, I think what the best design for us now would be, would be to try to make a cross-section left and right. So what we'll do is we'll leave this as an open corridor. We'll build a room here on the left side. We can put some storage boxes in there in our bed, and then we can do something on the right side. And we, could, we can put this big O research station, and any of the other stations that we can build in the other room, uh, like the uh, tool upgrader and all the other stuff. And then we can kind of move some of these things around. The fabricator, that's all right. We can leave that word at. Hey, hey, hey! Get away from the upholstery. Oh, they're chasing us. Oh, they, t they totally chase you. Alright, chat, if you think we should play more of this game, smash that like button. If you're subscribed to the channel, throw a 1 in the chat. If you're a member, put a 1 in the chat. If you're uh, part of the number one community on YouTube, put a 1 in the chat. If you're excited to get gift bombs, if you want to drop some gift bombs ones in the chat show your hype for more forever skies we're going to be playing this one a hell of a lot more and it'll be releasing apparently on the 22nd so long as everything goes according to plan this will have multiplayer and uh not 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 at early access release but uh, upon its full release it'll first release into early access on the 22nd but they'll be adding more locations more to the story i guess the story is not complete yet either so you get you play to a certain point and then it kind of ends but you know raft was like that too where it got to a certain point and then they add story on over time so this is certainly one we're going to play a lot more in the future all right guys we're going to go to our next stream now so hang out here in the chat and join me for more big o streams today and then i've got another new game to show you a little bit later on the channel that i think you're going to like as well this one is a post-apocalyptic base builder that's kind of like this game, but a little different. You'll see. And we'll be back for more Forever Skies tomorrow morning. Let's go! New stream time! Let's go!